Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this little tutorial on this look. I did the foundation off camera, but the contour and highlight eyes and the lips are going to be in this video. So if you like to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. So I'm going to start off using my Cheek Parade palette from Benefit. I recently just picked this up in the last, you guys probably saw in the last haul if you watched it. And I'm going to be using the light, Hula Light first, and then I'm going to go in with the Hula um, Normal. So what I like to do with the Hula Light, I like to just kind of like dust it around my face, like kind of like a bronzer, and then use the Hula as like a contour. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to load up my MAC, I, this one I can never tell what it is, MAC 33, 38, I think it's 138, I think. And I'm just going to load it up and dust it on my cheeks to so really warm up my face. It's very, I don't want to say it's like orange, but it's very warm on me. But like, I'm kind of liking that look right now, so I mean, I don't mind. So I'm just going all the way up to my hairline. My hair is being in the way. And just blending it seamlessly throughout my face. I'm really impressed like with the color. I didn't think I was going to like it. I thought it was going to be a lot too light for me. But when I figured out like that I should use it as a bronzer, not like a contour bronzer, then it made a lot more sense. And I actually really like the blushes in there as well. Like, I really like the uh, Calif California and the Rocketeer. Rocketeer? Yeah. I like those two. Like, the Rocketeer is like one of my favorites. It's like kind of, you can use it as like a contour as well. And so just taking the Huda Light out around my neck as well. I always seem to have to put more on to like get, um, like when you take a picture of it like and post it on Instagram, it looks like you're not wearing like any makeup, so I have to put on a lot more. And also like when I'm working, I like the lights really like tone down the makeup, so it really makes me mad. So you have to put on a lot more than you think. So I'm just going in with Hula on a MAC one, uh, 199 brush? 199 brush. And just contour my face. I'm gonna go in with a MAC. 224 brush and just taking the Hula Light just down my nose to warm it up. I find that when I use like, I always use like really lighter colors on my, like in the middle of the face and it kind of has to, I always have to put like a bronzer on my nose to like, I don't want to like contour it, but just like kind of warm it up to balance out my face. See like it looks a lot better. And then I'm not going to do any blush today because I'm going to be mostly using pink colors. Um, but what I like to do lately, I am obsessed with doing this, so this is the Kat Von D Shade Light Palette. It is very used, and I need to repurchase some of the colors. Okay, so I like to take the really light color, and really carve art my contour. So just really, the light color. I don't know, like, I don't know why I like doing this, but like, I'm just obsessed with doing it lately. Obsessed. I think it looks really nice in photography. Also, I'm just going to take these two colors here, mix them together with the one with my eyes. Just kind of even out the highlight. And then for the glow, I'm a little sick by the way. I don't know if you can tell. You guys can probably tell, but I'm just going to blend this out. Um, I don't know why I'm sick. I think, I don't know. I don't know. For glow, I'm using the Becca Opal, and it's like a little tiny mini point perk, and I'm like, obsessed with this color it's the perfect color for I think it's the perfect color for me but like it is the most intense highlight ever it's like amazing but now with the Morphe um, 310 brush and it's really packing that on I don't know if you can see but it's gorge and on the other side as well really packing it on if you want to be even more intense you can just like wet your brush and it's just like insane blinding I like to put it above my eyebrow a little bit, around on the nose, Cupid's wound, chin. See, I don't know why I like the like one, two, three, but I just like to blend it out as well with the bronzer brush. Kind of all mix this a little bit together. Okay, and I've already primed my eyes, but I'm mostly going to be using the Modern Renaissance palette and the Urban Decay Electric. I am probably going to be going into Love Letter and... Mostly Love Letter and vet, Veteran Red, Veteran Red, those two colors. And then for the electric palette, I want like the hot pink, it's called Savage. It's just this one here, I want it to be like really pink, and I'm going to pair it with a pink lip. I'm so excited for you guys to see. And also, I'm going to be putting glitter on it, the Too Faced Glitterly by the um, 
when Too Faced collab with the Nikki Tutorials. So, <clears throat> I've already primed with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I'm obsessed with this. You can use it for like anything. You can use it for like, say if your nose um, separates. Put this on it before. I love this hattie, but it goes a long way. For your eyes, you can mix it with eyeshadow, so like, like a cream shadow. So many things that you can use it for. Okay. Where is, okay. I'm just gonna be using the MAC 224 brush that I use for warming up my nose. And I'm gonna go in with, I'm gonna go to Bono, Bon Fresco, Fresco? It's the light, like, ashy pink. And I'm just gonna warm that kind of as a transition, just to not go intensely with pink, just kind of like warm up the eye, make sure it all is seamless, and just kind of blend that in. I have a bad habit of over blending and just like blending my shadows to nothing, so today I'm gonna try not to do that. And I'm going like right underneath my eye as well. I like to just like blend like crazy underneath my eye. I was looking on Instagram and I saw a bunch of people like wearing like pink eyeshadow. I'm like, I need to wear pink eyeshadow again because I've been wearing a lot of neutrals lately and I'm like, what? I'm not fun. Like I need to wear more pink eyeshadows. So I decided to film it for you guys because I haven't been really posting that much. Um, I've been like hella busy. I um, I actually recently got a gym membership at 24 Hour Fitness in Vancouver. So I've been going to the gym a lot with one of my friends. So that's exciting. So like when I'm not working and when I'm not at school, I'm usually at the gym. And I've been trying, just trying to hang out with friends lately. Just, I know like YouTube isn't a priority, but I do miss doing it. Like, it's fun for me, but I've been having people come over and all the time, so I don't really have like time to do it. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry about that. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do like after I graduate from school at the end of uh, August. So it's kind of just frustrating and a little bit hectic, but I'll figure it out. And then I'm going to go into Love Letter, and I'm just going to be using um, my Morphe 502 brush, just a big blending brush, going into Love Letter, into the crease. So, one second. So cute. Okay, so I'm doing blending with the Morphe 502 brush into the crease. I haven't really played with the pink at yet in this palette since I bought it. Go underneath the eye. And I like to blend it out into like a point, really. So that's what I'm doing now. And then I'm gonna take my MAC and just kind of blend the sides together. And on the other side, I'm gonna do the same thing. Oh, and I went home for my birthday. Thank you guys for the birthday wishes. A couple of you guys emailed me. I don't know if I want to go in with the red. I'm, I don't know. I'm probably not going to. I'm just going to probably take this one on the lid. Savage pink. So beautiful. Oh, you know who I saw that was doing this? Something like this? It was um, Jamie from Jamie Genevieve or Genevieve. She was on YouTube and she had like a bright pink eye. So I'm just going to put the Savage on with a MAC 113, no, 213 brush. And just put that on the lid. All over and blend it into the other pink colors. That's a bright pink there. And then I'm just going to take the MAC and just blend it all together. And I'm going to do a little bit underneath the eye as well. Just to balance it out. I just like to put it on the tip of the brush and then go in. I'm gonna go a little bit in with my Jeffree Star Cosmetics Highlight in Peach Goddess. Just because it's a little bit more pinky and I'm gonna see how that looks. So give a little 
little bit on there. I am in love with this highlight. And highlighting my face everywhere. Literally everywhere. I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera and then I'm gonna decide if I wanna put glitter on or not. So I'll be right back. So I think I'm just gonna go back into my Mono Renaissance and Love Letter and just add a little bit more pink. I'm just gonna take my Morphe brush and just buff that in the crease underneath. Just a little bit more. I'm just gonna add the Jeffree Star onto my inner corner. I'm just going to put that. For my eyebrows, I use the um, Anastasia Dip Brow in Granite and then the Anastasia Beverly Hills Tinted Brow Gel in Chocolate. So I use those two. I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs uh, Mascara. It's a Velvet Noir Mascara. I'm just going to curl my lashes first with the Shadow Eyelash Curler. No, Shuamora Eyelash Curler. It's my favorite. I find that it works the best. So I'm just gonna apply a bunch of coats of mascara, like volumize mascara. This is like my all-time favorite mascara. I need to buy it in the big size when I'm done this one. Okay, so those are the lashes. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put bottom mascara on. I might just like put like glitter down there. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I'm gonna set my makeup with the Makeup Forever Setting Spray, the Misinfix. This is like my all-time favorite setting spray. I think you guys know that. I'm just gonna spray. The setting spray, like this one, the Urban Decay one, the Kat Von D one, they just like kind of give you like a natural finish. Um, ones like the Marc Jacobs, the Cover FX one, the Tatcha. They're like setting sprays, not gonna necessarily like, make your last like makeup lasts a little bit longer. This is gonna like give you like a more radiant one. I mean the Tatcha one's not even a setting spray, but it will like it what I describe it as it will like reformulate your makeup to be like dewy. So like it will like if you're if you have a matte foundation, it's not gonna be matte anymore. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this one. This is my favorite one. I'll just take the Tatcha one and just like spray it on my cheeks. And like we'll just like be dewy there and you only need like two sprays. Don't do it anymore or else it'll be like oil slick on your face. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prep my lips with the Bite Beauty Lip Primer. So this help it stay on and not bleed. Adds lots of moisture to it as well. And then I'm gonna apply, this is like my favorite lip cool lipstick of all time. It's the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in Bauhaus. It's like B A U H A U five. Um, when I was training with Sephora, I went to Edmonton, and one of my trainers was wearing this with like gloss over top of it. And I was like, "What are you wearing?" And I fell in love with it. It's so beautiful. I wear it all the time. I can't stop wearing it. But yeah, this is one of my favorites. So I'm gonna put this on, and we'll see how it looks. Like, it's beautiful. And also, not to mention, Cap on D is like my favorite liquid lipstick of all time. The formulation is just like perfect. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spray the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist on the sides of my face. Shake it. It is formulated with um, rice, red algae, and green tea, so it helps with anti-aging. So I love that. But also gives a more luminous look. I want to just thank you guys so much for watching and sticking around. I know I haven't been posting a lot and I'm so sorry, but hopefully soon I'll be able to post a little bit more. And yeah, if you guys have any requests, please leave them in the comment section down below. Everything that you guys will need to know will be in the description about me. And if you guys like, if you guys haven't subscribed, you can hit the subscribe button if you want. And like the video, it really does help me out to let you guys know if you guys like it or not. And I'll see you guys really shortly in my next video. Bye guys.